I don't know where that Model S is going, but if it's going from Los Angeles to San Francisco, it will need to charge. That's right, the new refresh that Tesla announced today will allow a Tesla like this, Model S, uh, to go from Los Angeles and San Francisco pretty much without charging. And now the refresh wasn't what we think of as a refresh, generally speaking. The, the car looks the same inside and out. The refresh happened on the inside. And there were quite a few interesting things that they've, uh, they've unveiled. I'll tell you all about it. And of course, you know, because it's been a couple of weeks since we haven't seen any type of price changes or whatever, uh, there were price changes. All right, let me tell you all about it coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there. Yep, it's still there. Uh, that way you won't miss anything moving forward. All right, so let's talk about all of the things that have been announced today by uh, Tesla. Again, not some bunch of weird tweets, and even though they did tweet, uh, but in an official blog statement where, you know, people could figure it out and, and all of the information was there. I don't think there were any kind of a, additional questions that people had. So love that, love that. But let me tell you what happened. All right, so um, the, uh, the powertrain got updated and that's kind of the main thing that they were emphasizing. I know really boring, but uh, let me tell you what that actually means. Now, they have up upgraded the motors to something that you would see in Model 3, just a variation for the Model S. Um, the um, adaptive suspension um, is now uh, on all uh, Model S and Model S Xs will figure out the best efficient way for the car to use the uh, least amount of energy. And on top of that, the cooling uh, for the battery has been improved. There were quite a few other things here and there, but those are the main thing, the major things. And overall, the efficiency got improved by over 10%. Um, now, this converted into something really cool. Uh, first, the Tesla Model S now has a new estimated rating of 370 miles, pretty much the distance between LA and San Francisco. In the Model X, uh, 325 miles. The battery packs are still going to be 100 uh, kilowatt hour packs. But these are not 2170s that everybody thought that the Tesla is going to get uh, for the Model S, Model X refresh. These are the old cells just with improved technology of uh, how the energy is spent and saved and also the cooling technology that um, allows. The next thing that I'm going to mention, now you can charge the these cars at 200 kilowatts at the V3s. Now, I know the Model 3, um, they went all the way to 250 kilowatts peak, but uh, with, the, with this, because of the improvement in cooling, you can go to 200 kilowatt peaks, which is pretty good. These are still the old type of batteries cells um, in the Model S and Model X. They have not updated, which is, you know, a little disappointed, but we'll get there, you know, with the, with the positives and negatives. Um, now, <laughs> there are a couple of other surprises. And uh, but, but let me just mention, this, that, that's pretty cool. This is, this is some major improvements. Um, uh, but uh, let me mention a couple of... Uh, price changes. Um, let's talk about it. Uh, before that, I want to quickly mention that this video and this channel is sponsored by Accelerate Auto. The extended warranty for all electric cars, including Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model 3, up to 125,000 mile coverage, only $100 deductibles. And if you want to apply using the link in the description of this video, you'll also get a discount code for an extra $100. They also do business leasing for electric cars as well, so check them out. All right, so... Um, Couple of new, uh, a couple of couple of uh, changes in pricing. Uh, they are bringing back now the uh, standard range. A Model S, right? It was kind of weird that they just uh, kind of took it away and raised the uh, base price, which essentially raised the price uh, to a much, much higher uh, one because it was just for a 100 kilowatt hour pack. But now they're bringing another one back. They're not saying how many kilowatt hours, but, you know, 75, 80, you know, the same because the uh, the mileage is 285 miles for uh, regular um, the, for the Model S. Um, 200 and let me see. I'm looking at my nose. 250 miles uh, for the Model X. Uh, $78,000 is now the base price for the Model S and $83,000 uh, for the base Model X. So welcome back, more affordable Model S and Model X pricing. And on top of that, they've announced that if you are a current, uh, current Tesla owner and you want to get one of these new cars uh, in a performance version, then they will give you the, the, the ludicrous mode, which is an extra $20,000 value for free. So that's... Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's summarize. Longer range, 
improvement into a power a power a powertrain uh, uh, overall. Um, uh, standard uh, standard range is now a uh, standard uh, is, is standard mode whatever you want to call it is back. Charging at 200 kilowatts at the V3 superchargers in the uh, ludicrous mode at 20,000 free for the existing uh, Tesla owners upgrading to the Model S, Model X with the performance package. All right. Sounds pretty good, but at the same time, uh, there are some positives and negatives on both sides. So let's get to that right now. All right, so the positive is obviously this is the longest range that we have seen in an electric car ever. The fact that you can drive from uh, San Francisco to uh, to LA, the drive I've done quite a few times, and the one that really made me really so annoyed that I bought a Chevy Volt uh, to not have to wait at the superchargers. Funny story, today I had to drive to the Bay Area and my Volt completely crapped out. I had to jump into my Tesla supercharged for way too long that I that I wanted to. This is why you see the bags under my eyes because it's like 2.30 in the morning now that I got back from all the supercharging. Anyway, yeah, irony, but... Um, but now you can do it. Oh, I can do it if I would get the new Model S. You can, uh, I mean, obviously uh, it's an EPA rating, so you kind of have to be very careful, maybe trail some of the semis, but you can do it now. Um, and uh, so that's the obviously positive. The secondly is the charging rate. I mean, charging rate is so important. Like for me, the supercharging will only make sense when I can supercharge within, you know, 80% uh, of the battery for like 10 minutes. And I know this is not that, but it's definitely, you know, twice as fast pretty much as what we have right now with the upcoming V3 superchargers will also have the dedicated uh, uh, power running to each stall so there will be no more shared power so overall that improvement is really really awesome and of course bringing back the most affordable uh, the more affordable sh I should say $78,000 uh, Model S is a good thing um, I think that would be missing out on a very big uh, chunk of the market especially the ones that are probably going to be going for the Taycan and a few you know, other other cars other competitors on the market um, it's not what it used to be it used to start with 60000 so we're still ways to go for that and that will probably never happen anyway but now there are choices, so really happy to hear that. But there are a couple of negatives, and they have to do with, with pricing. Now, I would say a lot of people will say, well, we didn't get the 2170 cells in this, and I say, listen, who cares? You got a much better charging rate, almost the same as the Model 3 uh, is getting, um, and you got much uh, longer range than Model 3. So now, who cares? Now, obviously, they're probably going to put them in there at one, at one point, but you know, yes, that some people are going to be disappointed. Um, I think the more disappointing thing was that, you know, once again, if you're giving stuff away for free, all of a sudden, they're lowering prices that people who just bought not only obviously the previous version uh, of all of this uh, of all of this tech, but on top of that, did pay extra twenty thousand dollars for the ludicrous mode. Will probably be pretty pissed, you know. Now, do they have a right to be pissed because at this point that they've changed prices so many times? But I think they still do. I still, I still. I mean, maybe there's going to be another year of this crazy price uh, changes before we can say, okay, listen, you've bought it uh, during or, you know, uh, at the time when the price changes were crazy. So you should have known that you could get screwed. This is why I don't see myself buying a brand new one right now, but that's a video I'm going to do uh, to uh, later today with um, Eli uh, from My Tesla Adventure. So tune in for that. If you haven't subscribed, obviously this is a perfect time uh, to do that and a great reason to do that. We're going to have a pretty good discussion about whether or not you can buy one because Technically, this is a refresh, right? Um, so that's really the only negative I see. And obviously, all the price changing, I would I would add that to negative as well. You know, price changing is just not good because again, it just doesn't look very stable in many different ways for investors, for you know, you know, current buyers and and future potential buyers. It's just not that good. All right, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our VIP list where we send out uh, weekly newsletters with stories, news, and deals that we don't feature here on this channel or on the website. Um, and of course, we want to give a quick shout out to one of my newer patrons. Mike, thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. The only place where you can watch me live. So uh, if you would like to support this independent channel, go to patreon.com slash e4electric. That link is also in the description of this video. All right. I'm looking forward to your comments. What do you guys think? Is this a refresh that we wanted or or should have it included interior and exterior to me i love both i mean i love the exterior and it looks like the interior will get a little worse uh from what i've seen so to me this is perfectly fine looking forward to your comments other than that see you next time and remember to stay charged